What are fractions? We use numbers to represent how much of something there is. For example, I can use the number three to describe how many pizzas I have. One, two, three. But what if I only have part of a pizza? I don't have one pizza, but I don't have zero pizzas either. I can use a fraction to represent the part of the whole pizza that I have. The pizza was cut into eight slices. But I only have three of them. Fractions have two parts, a numerator, which goes on top, and a denominator, which goes on the bottom. The denominator is the total number of pieces. For us, that's eight, because our pizza was cut into eight slices. The numerator is the number of pieces I have, which is three. So I have three out of eight slices of a pizza or three eighths of a pizza. But what fraction of the pizza is missing? Once again, the pizza was cut into eight slices, so the denominator is still eight. But this time I'm considering the missing pieces. Five slices are missing, so the numerator is five. Five out of eight slices are missing, or five eighths of the pizza is missing. For fractions to work, all of the pieces of the whole must be the same size. If I promise to give you one half of this cookie, the two halves must be equal. You wouldn't be very happy if I broke the cookie like this and gave you the smaller piece. That's not half a cookie. Let's try that again. Now the cookie is broken into two equal size pieces or halves. Fractions name part of a whole, but they can also be used to name part of a set. Consider this set of donuts. If I wanted to name what fraction of the donuts is chocolate, the denominator would be the total number of donuts, which is 12. The numerator would be the number of chocolate donuts, which is five. So five twelfths of the donuts are chocolate. I could also use a fraction to name the vanilla donuts. Once again, the denominator is the total number of donuts, which is still 12, but this time the numerator is the number of vanilla donuts, which is one. One twelfth of the donuts are vanilla. Let's review. Fractions are used to name part of a whole or part of a set. Fractions have a denominator and a numerator. The denominator goes on the bottom, and that's the total number of parts. The numerator goes on top, and that's the part you have or the part you're considering. The whole must be broken into equal parts in order for fractions to work. Take a look at this chocolate bar. This is one whole chocolate bar, but if I want to break it into thirds, I have to break it into three equal pieces. These three pieces are not equal in size, so these are not thirds. Let's try that again. Now the chocolate bar is broken into three equal one-third size pieces. Let's review naming fractions one more time. Here I have a shape broken into four pieces with three of them shaded in. So three out of four or three fourths of this shape is shaded. This shape has three total pieces with two shaded in, so that's two thirds. This piece has six with three shaded in, so this represents three sixths. And this set has eight total shapes with five shaded or five eighths.